Hello, my home for the next seven days. Just a comfy little hotel room. Tiny bit bouge. Amazing view. That I can get on board with. Work desk, TV, better have Netflix. Working on catching up on some series. And let's check the bathroom. Um, if one of these works. Ah! Always need the card. If I can find the card, I don't need where I've put it. There we go. This is room tours with Matt. Okay, that's pretty bougie. I like it. And, well done Asia. You have something separating the toilet and the shower. Beautiful. Hello. Oh. And I got my own little toiletries, snazz, hair dryer. As much coffee as I can shake a stick at. Wicked. Hey, good morning guys. Uh, so you'll notice that I am on my own. Um, well, this is the first time pretty much on this trip where I have been. Um, not for like one day or two days, um, Aaron is currently in the Philippines um, for reasons that I'm sure he'll tell you in the future. Um, so, for the next week or so, I will be editing videos, uh, doing a lot of other stuff, and making videos on my own. So, enjoy. These are the map files. I can tell the excitement is just brewing. <laughs> Wicked. So, as you can see, just to the left of me, um, I have checked into a hotel, name in the corner. Um, really, really nice. Uh, it would cost about £125 uh, for the week, so split up. Uh, and with the addition of the city tax, which is paid by all foreigners. Um, so in some places you will pay it, in some places you won't. My advice is don't expect not to pay it and just expect to add it to all your charges and then when you don't pay it, you will have a little bit of a surprise. You'll be like, ooh, save some money. Because um, normally you get charged <coughs> and that should be the general gist of things. Um, so definitely for that, I'll put some, uh, <coughs> sorry, a little bit ill at the moment. Um, I'll put some footage up of the room in the corner. Um, it's basically just the one bedroom large double bed, very very comfortable, um, has a really nice bathroom, uh, has everything you need there, workspace, TV, unfortunately doesn't play Netflix, but you know, small things, small things, uh, I've got a laptop to play Netflix, so it doesn't matter. Um, so this week I'll just be editing, catching up with some, uh, some series, which is a necessary thing to do because traveling is tiring it's it burns you out for sure um and anybody that's ever gone traveling and says it doesn't is traveling for a little bit of time um but the good thing is there's a lot of youtubers we follow do say the same thing and they usually say in the same place for quite a bit of time um so they do often feel the same way i'm just going to try and cross this road without getting knocked over which looks like i'm going to achieve that um, so uh, when we first came to KL, um, we came here and we met a friend called Hannah. Uh, that was in one new Tama shopping centre, which is absolutely huge. And me and Aaron, we do spend a lot of time in malls, which some people like, some people don't like, some people would do, some people wouldn't. Um, the true fact of the matter is that during the day, it's incredibly hot. Um, and you need to get out of the sun. And that's the smartest way to do it, is to spend time in an AC protected shopping mall because uh, then at least you're out, you're doing stuff, you're walking and to a lesser extent you're getting exercise um, and you're not burning, uh, which is also good. So today I'm going to one that's a little bit closer called The Curve. I need to get money out because I've run out. Um, and uh, yeah, so we're going to go to The Curve, uh, see what it's like there, probably get some food and then uh, I'll give you a little bit of an update on where we are with uh, current events, uh, where we are with the videos, uh, where we are with everything else, 
because um, I feel it's probably a needed update um, and I feel that you guys should need to know that not from an Instagram post but from a YouTube post because it would be much much easier to tell you so see you in a bit so guys we made it on the walk uh, it was only 14 minutes the time is currently just before 11 um, it is courageous and cool 29 feels like 35 so um, when I say heat this is this is cool. This is cool. This is not burning the back of my neck. This is not making me feel uber tired. Um, so yeah, <laughs> just to let you in on that little one. Um, so we've made it to the curve. It's another shopping center. I'll show you a little bit inside. Um, I'm gonna go get something to eat because I need to remind myself to eat uh, a full meal every day, three of them. Um, because when you travel, you kind of just dip in and out. Um, unless there's really good food, which in Malaysia there is, um, even if it doesn't agree with you all the time. We just got some money out. One thing to note when you always get money out, check how much money you've got out. Check the charge, which can be comparable to what you've actually got the ping up on your bank account for the notification. And then once you've done that, make sure that the money out is the same as what you've got in your statement. So make sure that you've got the correct notes, essentially because uh, some people have been caught out by that, we haven't. Um, the only problem we had was once we were in Vietnam, Aaron got money out um, and it didn't give him anything, but it did charge his account. So um, that's the one unfortunate thing we've run into, but always make sure because it can be problems, but you know, they can be problems anywhere, they can be problems at home. So it's not exactly country dependent. It's just if you're unlucky enough to have that and you're obviously getting money out more than you normally would, unless you're in countries where you can constantly spend on your card, which I would prefer. But in Asia, there's not always that option, especially with food stalls. They don't always have a card machine. So, little point of note. So as you can see, I went to Tea Live, which is a pretty popular chain across uh, the whole of Asia. Well, at least the whole of Southeast Asia, um, for like bubble tea, which is just a newfound love of mine. Love it, drink it for days. Um, I try not to, because it's also a little bit fattening, and I will get a pot belly more than I already have now. But yeah, just waiting for my tea now. Um, trying not to get my fingers in the way of the camera. Always helps if I don't and then I'm gonna get some food. Me want. Hey guys, so I have chosen my lunch, which is the Hot and Roll shop, which is the first time I've seen this in Malaysia, so I'm not sure how big it is, but it does look amazing. And they had chicken floss, which is like my favorite thing. Um, it's, in, it's a bit like boba. Uh, so every time I see a chicken floss roll at a bakery, I've got to get it. I've got to get it. Especially the spicy ones. I can't eat the spicy ones all the time, but damn, I love them. Um, so we're just going to find a place to sit and eat this and hopefully it's as good as it looks.
So guys, we found a spot to eat, which is not part of a restaurant. Um, I'm gonna do it quick, because I always get moved on by a scary every time I'm sitting on a, not a street corner, but you know, always happens. So, I'm gonna bite into it. It is a sweet one, um, with savory filling, sweet crap. So that is damn delicious. I've got mayo in there as well. Not, not terribly spicy. Probably no spice actually. But for a snack, straight like solid six point five, maybe be a seven. But good, especially for the price and the value. Great, especially in Malaysia. Wicked. Crush. So that is the end of the video guys i'm sorry it was a really short one at the time of recording i couldn't get too much more out in that week and the week after that just because i was really really ill with covid so unfortunately these things happen and we couldn't get anything more out but we do have some videos coming up of us in penang which i'm really excited to share with you guys so please catch us on the next one one thing i did catch was this awesome thunderstorm if you're ever in this part of the world the most amazing thunderstorms happen which if you're safe and dry just provide the most amazing views so i just thought i'd put this up just for you guys to check out so i will see you in the next one remember to like and subscribe